Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be trying what some people have said is probably the best non-alcoholic beer that they have ever tasted. So, like I said, we're going to be trying what I have heard some people say is the best tasting non-alcoholic beer that they have ever had. That is Athletic Brewing Company. And for the selection that we have, we're going to be taking a look at their Cerveza Athletic, their Downwinder Goza, their Upside Dawn Golden, their Run Wild IPA, and their All Out Extra Dark. All right. Let's try these. All right, so I think uh, let's start with the uh, Cerveza. I, again, am not a big Cerveza guy, but we're gonna see. The Cerveza Athletic comes in at a 0.025% ABV, a 15 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.30. A refreshing summer Mexican style copper ale. It's balanced with a dry finish and pairs perfectly with spicy salsa and fish tacos. So right away, the color is obviously a lot darker than your normal, normal golden cerveza style Mexican lager. Actually, it's kind of appealing. The head is actually staying there. And this beer is coming in at 65 calories. I can actually smell this and it actually smells pretty decent malty from here. Yeah, it actually smells like a pretty good malty beer. I'm actually look forward to trying this. That is not half bad. That is pretty darn good. Wow. I like that. It's got a really good body. Reminds me actually more of like a, a light red. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. It's like a dark lager, red, multi, multi cerveza. Um, it's got that little bit of a funk at the back end to give you that cerveza lager style. I could totally see this going with like some fish tacos or something. Um, this adds that little bit of sweetness. There's this malt flavor to this. It's really good. And the body is really great. Probably one of the better, if not best, cerveza lager style alcoholic free beers I have ever had. This is a good sign. Wow, that's good. Mind you, this is a bit expensive. These things are coming in at a little over $2 a beer. And all the other non-alcoholics and even some of the cheaper ones, they're coming in at less than a buck. So you're basically doubling the price for this. Oh my goodness, this tastes like a beer. That's really good. I could drink this. I could drink this. Heck, I probably might buy more of these. All right. Uh, I, I thought that was going to be the worst. Um, I am a big fan of Goza's. Let's try what they got here. Even the back flavor, that's really good. Athletic Stamweiser Goza comes in at a 0.4% ABV, a 8 IBU, and gets an average rating on untapped of 3.70. A seasonal goza, notes of sea salt, coriander, and lime leaf. Super quenching, sessionable, a summer style. Okay, this uh, looks appealing. Very golden. Uh, I like that it's like not clear. There's still like a haze. It looks like a really deep lemonade. The head was there, dissipated quickly, but 
goes as they tend to do that, especially with the salt. Oh, that's a good aroma. That's zesty lime and lemon and like a good kind. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. That's really good too. I, I was expecting a little more saltiness and maybe a little bit more tartiness, but it's still really, really good for a non-alcoholic like this. Again, really good body, probably about the same consistency in body as this. That's the best thing about these. This is coming in at 75 calories, but my goodness, the aroma. Oh, that flavor is good. Mm, yeah, just enough lemon lime citrusiness. There's a bit of saltiness. You know, sometimes if you ever have too big of a goza where it's overly salty, it kind of tastes like medicine. Um, those like uh, Alka-Seltzer drops, essentially. And that's what you get that smell. Uh, this doesn't have that. It hints on it. And I wonder if that's tricking my brain into being like, ooh, that's the uh, non-alcoholic aspect. Don't know if it's the sea salt because I really like those and, and salty ones too. Or if there's just something odd in the non-alcoholic aspect of it. Still really, really good. I think I could trick people with these two. I really do. I think I could trick more people into thinking this these had alcohol in it. And I really wish I did this video before. I did that other one. My bad. Check that out. Let's, let's try a golden ale. Athletics Upside Dawn Golden Ale comes in at a 0.4% ABV, a 15 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.31. A refreshing, clean, balanced, light-bodied aroma subtle with floral and earthy notes, brewed with premium organic malts from U.S. and Germany, along with a combo of English and traditional American hops to the Golden Ale style. Okay, so right now it's two for two. Um, let's give it a good look. I mean, it actually looks very similar in color. So this one actually does kind of look like it has a, a, a little bit lighter straw color. Um, this head though is retaining longer. I get, I get a very, very hint of honey. So. Okay. Mm, there's, a, there's a funk at the back end. There's a funk. That beginning and middle is fantastic. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a funk at the back end. There's this weird bittering and that typical kind of funk you get with a non-alcoholic. Uh, it almost has this tinny metal shaving flavor to it. Body is great. It's very similar. I, I want to say this tastes just a hair thinner than the other two, but um, you get this maltiness, very subtle sweetness, but then at the back end, it's in lingers. Least of the three so far though, least favorite. Um, this is coming in at 50 calories, so really good right at that low calorie non-alcoholic state. Um, and in fact, coming at 50 calories, I would probably drink this over Budweiser Zero or one of those that are around the same calorie caliber if I was looking into something like that. But again, you have to remember, this is coming in at double the price. Still very decent, very enjoyable. Honestly, on a hot day, and if I was really tired, I wouldn't care. And I think if this warms up just a hair, that sweeter honey note, because you can taste the quality in these malts fantastic and actually for a second i was going to state this should have been called the cerveza <laughs> because it kind of has a lighter lager flavor to it but a lot of golden ale kind of have that it does taste like it just has a, a hint more hops at the back end but i don't know there, there was just something about that back end that just wasn't great beginning and middle fantastic an IPA. Let's try that. This is the one I've heard a lot of people talk about. So, check it out. 
Athletics Run Wild IPA comes in at a 0.4% ABV. 35 IBUs, it gets an average rating on untapped of 3.41. The ultimate sessionable IPA brewed with a blend of Northwest hops with Citra and Mosaic at the forefront. Body of premium organic malts from US and Germany, subtle yet complex malt profile. All right, um, it is, well, amber color. It's got a nice orange hue to it. Uh, kind of doesn't look hazy, but it looks unfiltered. Looks actually like a West Coast IPA. So kind of cool. Head is still there. Um, you know, let's say about like a half a finger, very finely packed white bubbles. There is an aroma. I get a lot of bread notes. Actually. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. I wouldn't call it an IPA though. This taste is like a pale. This tastes like a really good pale. But my goodness, that body up front, that malt flavor in there. This is coming at 70 calories, so the second highest one there was. But wow, this tastes like a beer. Right away, the first thing goes, it hits my tongue. It's this sweet multi-flavor like it almost coats the edges of my tongue there's a bitteringness to it but it's so subtle it is like what i'm used to here in the northwest of just a pale like a good multi pale and that's what i really like it's got a decent sweet malt flavor to it that i know when i'm warming this up it's gonna be even more flavorful it kind of almost reminds me of an english pale and then they threw a little bit extra hops in it there is a very slight subtle back hint of that tinniness like I was talking about with that golden ale. But the hop profile in this balances so well, it kind of tricks you into thinking that's what it is. And now I know there's mosaic and citra in here, but oh, oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, it's subtle, but it's there. The, the hop profile of, of mosaic is in there. You can smell it. Okay, this is, this is good. This is darn good. Wow, I honestly, I could, I could probably trick a lot of people with this beer. I am now sold and looking forward to trying this stout. I have had some non-alcoholic stouts and were they not good? I am hoping. This one blows my mind. Let's get to the dark side. Athletics All Out Extra Dark comes in at a 0.3% ABV, a 10 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.39. Inspired by days of the slopes and nights by the fire, All Out is a delightful, smooth, and soul-warming stout. Each sip delivers a silky, full-bodied mouthfeel and pleasantly toasty finish, along with delicate notes of coffee and bittersweet chocolate. Given the depth of flavor, it's surprisingly light and refreshing, making it the perfect beer for any time of year. We like to pair it with warm, savory dishes in winter and light but sweet treats in warmer weather. Oh! <laughs> Uh, all right, I gotta say, first of all, that looks like a stout. The head is, well, it's khaki and brownish. I, I want to try something. I tried this once before. Yes. Yes. That's good. That is good. That is a good sign. Okay. Oh, yes. You get dark chocolate aroma. Ah, uh, okay, this is coming in at 90 calories. So this is the heaviest of all. Not the heaviest non-alcoholic I've seen, so that's always nice. Hmm. 
There are some really good things about this. And there's about one or two, not bad, but it, it tricks you. There is a great chocolate flavor to this. And the body, the body is the best thing about this thickest one yet. Aroma is fantastic. So as soon as you hit it, you taste dark chocolate. But for some reason, the middle seems empty and hollow. But then the back end kicks in and it's almost like having cocoa powder in your mouth. Not drying, but just like the aromatics seem to be bursting. So you, the aroma that still lingers is very chocolatey. Probably more like just a dry Irish stout. Like th this is thicker than say Guinness. I would think this was a standard stout, like a house stout type of a thing. This would go really well with some some sausages or something beef, like a, a roast. It's not some big, thick bourbon barrel aged breakfast stout, you know, pastry stout. This is a classic stout. I feel like I'm getting drunk, and I'm not. And I'm I think it's my mind being tricked that it thinks it's drinking alcohol, and it's like, get ready. So start balancing yourself. The golden ale, probably the least favorite. That's the only complaint I have. I mean, like really be then, the Goza, honestly the Cervasa and the IP, really darn close. That's a fantastic. You know, I'll probably go with, I'll probably go with the Stout next and then the Cervasa and IP are right up there on the top. Um, I know they even have a hazy IPA. I couldn't get a hold of that. My goodness, how? amazing would that be if you are a serious craft beer drinker and you are looking to maybe cut back a little bit but really don't want to give up that flavor that quality that body the variety i mean you, you don't want to just be like oh here's a bunch of budweiser zero or heineken zero in my fridge or whatever you know or, or, or duels or something like that now, some of those are sweeter than this, like some of the German ones I've had are sweeter, but these all taste like craft beer. If you've ever gone to a craft brewery and had like their house version, their very staple stuff that they probably first brewed, all of these taste like that. And they taste fantastically acceptable, beyond acceptable. Like, really, really good. I highly, highly recommend trying this even if you're not looking to cut back. This is craft beer right here. This is craft beer. I don't care if it's non-alcoholic. This is craft. There's quality in this. Highly recommend picking it up. It's not gonna blow your mind, but think of it in terms of what it is. If it's non-alcoholic, then it's gonna blow your mind. Hey guys, if you like this video, remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media stuff. The links will be down below. Um, did you like this video? Did you like this series? Have you gotten a chance to try any of the other athletic beers or any of these? Let me know. Did you guys just check out some of the other non-alcoholic videos I did? Which one was your favorite? Did you like any of them? Should I do some more? Let me know.